Falcons contest of speed. My name is Cora, also known as STLR OG, and I am one of your commentators for this evening. I will be joined by Matt, he's just not here right now. It's room 14 here at Hungary. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure, I'm not too sure. Please tell me in chat, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, did uh, Racer wrap it up? Did Lewis wrap it up? Is he drivers? Can uh, someone let me know? Well, how's the audio? I just need to know these little things. <laughs> Hope it's on. On board in Red Panda now, as he goes out for a qualifying lap. Matt's saying he is going to be quick, but uh, still just waiting on him. Got like drivers on the right laps. We have drivers starting. Seems Ivok is on a flyer. Purple's first. Ooh. That was sketchy. Bit of an early shape though. Has backed off, I think. He is backing off. Who should we watch? Who's out? I think we'll join. The, sorry, I don't know, I'm going to call you the Simon, <laughs> 99, one of the new reservists, filling in the Haas, along with the Alpha Tauri, just below him in 8th there. King Luke sets. Provisional pole over 117. Oh, Goran takes it. Not by much. Not by much. Red Panda takes it. Even quicker. Three times quicker. As the new reservist goes four over 117.9. It's not bad. Red Panda. 117 one is provisional Paul. It's decent. Yeet Meeks, new provisional pole over 116.6. It's good luck for the Williams. Yeet Max, I don't know why I call, keep calling him Yeet Meeks. Do apologise for that. Is 
So our Fatara goes 10th, 118.6. Not the best times. I don't buy much. Going into the pit. Yeah. Back to that one. Still waiting to see Lewis go out. I think he's hiding his purse away though. Good evening, everybody. Hello. 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 Good evening. How are we? Sorry about that. Yeah, I'm all, I'm all good. Uh, I'm looking forward to this one massively, actually. Have you done all the housekeeping and things like that, or do you want to leave that to me? Uh, done a couple things. I mentioned the. Have you? Uh, Lovely. I've seen. We've been on board with the Haas reservist. Yep. Oh. The new one. I the, I, I've said that. I don't know what to call him. Is it the Simon or Simon? I'm not entirely sure. Simon. Simon. We yeah. don't make. You know what this is going to be like. This is going to be like me trying to um, um, bread Panda's name when he changed it. So he's changed it now, but when he had it before, me just going Kaginis or whatever. He's like, I would just call me Luke or. <laughs> this is how you say it. So if this is how you say it. Yeah. We call him S Salmon. Fine, Salmon it is. One Salmon. Uh, so Salmon in the house, as you said. Yeah, we got a couple of those. Eric is back this week. He's going to be... Oh, he's parked in a dangerous location. That's not a great start. Um, Eric is back in the Red Bull again. Uh, he is still going to act as reserve, not a full-time. He did get off with the seat. Uh, and then the lanky one is also in the Red Bull. Uh, and that is a full-time permanent fixture for the last couple of rounds of the season. So there's been a lot of movement in EU4 the last week, so in a positive way. So the fact that the lowest tier in the league has got 18 drivers out this evening um, is good. Would have been 19. Uh, Red Mars has got a race ban because of Mr. Means that's been poked up. That has been explained to him. Um, whether he likes it or not now, but it is what it is. That's why I mentioned to everybody before we start the lobby, please just record your footage, because getting penalties for no footage is just a... Uh... Oh, big crash through the middle sector. Uh, Red Panda's gone, and Luke, and who else has just crashed into him? There's an Alfa Romeo. Wisey boy, possibly? That was carnage, but yeah. Make, make sure your footage is saved. That's my last... Moan, Corey, and then yeah, over to you. <laughs> I agree with that. There's a a lot of people who don't record the footage and gives you a very hefty penalty in the end. So record your footage it makes things so much easier, and you avoid penalties. It's a plus side. You will. I'm just gonna give someone an invite because that's a really weird thing that's just happened. Uh... I do have one question to ask. Obviously, Go I on. missed last week. Has Racer wrapped yeah. it up? Is he driver's champion? Racer has wrapped up. Yeah, he, did, he wrapped up last week. Uh, can't be caught. Uh, it does help when he wins the race and his championship rivals finish uh, in the lower points. Uh, was pushed a little bit because of a late safety car once again, but again, had it, had it all under control. Uh, we had a quick chat with him last week. I said we'll have a chat at the end of the season when we find out who the constructors' champions are going to be because it's still uh, undecided with three rounds to go, including tonight. Uh, these guys have got Qatar in two weeks' time and uh, 
we finish in Spa, which will be a new one. Seems we have a disconnect issue with... Is that gold? Done, sword. Yeah. The Haas back in the pits. So... Somebody in the Twitch chat... Is yep. Clutch, is that I've, Salmon? Yeah, I presume it's Salmon. Yeah, I've worked that out, put two and two together. So, he disconnected. Obviously, because there's no ghost in... Uh, the car's still out there as an AI, and obviously I think people then crashed into it. I don't know. Really confused. Not sure. I oh, know no, he didn't crash into it. He was uh, part on the pit exit or at the exit of turn one. It was really weird. There's another one gone as well. Red Bull through turn five. Unfortunately, can't do much about it. Rather than inviting back, it's, it's, can't can't really restart if it's only just the one person. We had this problem uh, last week in EU3 oh. when uh, AI two people left the session. Their AI started the race but jumped the start, and then someone thought it was a really good idea to uh, thought, oh yeah, I'll just presume it's a restart and crashed into people. And then, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, it, it, it didn't go particularly very well. But, you know, we've moved on from that. Unfortunately, they're no longer in the league. That's right. But, you that know, doesn't sound too yeah, nice. <laughs> don't take matters into your own hands, people. That the admin and people, i.e. the commentators, do the job. And we will let you know. Just don't presume we're restarting just because something's gone slightly wrong. Because we do want to avoid the restart at all costs, because then we have to leave the session, don't we? Invite everybody back, sort out the custom grid, and it's just, it takes longer. But yeah, it is what it is. Uh, I was looking up the uh, championship standings for Clear Constructors, Corey. Hey. We are 30, 34 points between Ferrari and Alpine. Is this the updated? Because I don't have these. That is the updated one according to the 6th of November, so last week. So I presume that is the updated one until I hear anything else. I've so we're going to go off the... F uh, before the stream started that the standings are not correct. They're not correct! They're not. I'm going off those. I'm going to go off those ones. I'd say it's 34 points. That way it's more exciting. Who knows? But don't worry, they'll be definitely up to date by the time we go racing again, because uh, there is a week break, unusually, uh, for next week, and then we've got two weeks left. And then we're done. We've done 18 races. I know. No, sorry, 16 races. Crazy, I right? I was about 16, but it doesn't seem real. It's gone nowhere. Time has gone. All the races have just disappeared. It has flown through... Uh, that is the second person I've noticed that has gone off in that corner, the second to last corner, because there's a bump. Well, there looks to be a bump. There's a rather high downforce track. You know. There's a. It was very strange. We are on board with the Alpha Tauri, the new reservist. What do I say? How do we say it? Don't we say it? Where is he? Alpha Tari? Yeah. Sorokin? Yeah. Sorokin. So it's like Sergei Sorokin. That's what I'm thinking of. He just had a personal burst. Second sector. Jumps up to 12th. Yeah, I did think qualifying is going to be pretty tight round here uh, because of it's quite a, a short track. I was also expecting somebody to get into the low 16s, maybe a 16-1. Lewis is close so far. Shock. Who would have thought, eh? Um, but Yeet Mix has got himself up there as well. And then, I'll tell you what, 
it's pretty good. Six tenths of a second between third and fifteenth. So pr pretty tight. Very cool. You ask me. All right. Fine. Um, sorry, I'm trying to find something. Yeah, Yeet Max setting in P2 if you can set an improvement. Mm -hmm. It's only two tenths. Only two tenths, but two tenths, as we've just worked out there, make is going to make a massive difference. Mm. It's down two tenths, two and a half tenths. That's not where he wants to be coming out of a sector. Yeah, it's going to be really difficult to, cool to claw back, uh, claw back throw. Um, I'll be amazed if anyone's running some low downforce. It's all going to be high downforce simply because of the sector two. There you go. He's gained it all back there. Quarter of a second now up, which is, uh, well, if you got sector one right, it would be pretty close. At the moment, he is provisionally on pole if you can keep it tidy and all together round turn 14 DRS wide open and he's going to head to the line and it's a 16-1 there we go uh, Lewis has responded and is a quarter of a second up on his own time in sector 2 so this is going to be quite close towards the end of this lap feathering that throttle through the penultimate caller Running out of ERS, he's got 11% left. Hopefully, it doesn't affect him too much as he heads towards the line. And Lewis does a 16 flat. Oh. Whoa. Touche, sir. Touche. Very, very close indeed. When you mentioned about his ERS being low, I thought it would have been tight. So anybody else doing? Everybody's doing laps apart from Bozo, Sorokin, and Dougie. Uh, who else? Goran's just improved. He's gone to thirty. Swap with his teammate. Ah, uh, because in the pits. Uh, Blades is down. He was up through the first sector. A uh, wisey boy is going to make a big move here, Corey. He's up half a t second. There you go into third place. He's up into third. I was on with Andres, and he was up on his time. Uh, played, didn't improve, but he was in fifth place going into the final run, so that's pretty good. Uh, Luke's the one to look down in the 14th. He is, he was two temps up through the first sector. Track is definitely seemed to be a bit of evolution actually for a change. Kept it between the lines there. It's nearly half a second up now. The moment he's put himself on the third row of the grid. And he is coming out the final corner. Power to the line. And he does a 16-6. Massive improvement for Luke. Put himself up to his third place. That will do it. Mm -hmm. Hack, Hack, I was just <laughs> asking, why is Lewis in this tip? <laughs> He's on a run and at the moment can't be stopped. Uh, pole position for Lewis then in uh, at Hungary. Uh, Yeet makes close behind, only a tenth between them. Uh, we've got to go back a bit to half a second to King Luke. But then King Luke all the way down, I would say, towards. What's that? Second separating third to 15th, so pretty good elsewhere. Uh, Wisey Boy got a late lap time in. Goran, uh, Ivor, Blade, uh, X427, Red Panda, Andre Bozo, Pipe Tech, Rodeo, Sorokin, uh, the lanky one, Dougie, Eric, and Salmon. Got to squad of five. Hopefully, he can. Well, we haven't seen much of him. No, hopefully, he can show some. Uh 
pace in the race and gain some places. What it means is I think stewards could be very busy this week. If qualifying's that close, it means everybody's going to be quite close to each other on the track. No formation lap. There is no formation lap, remember? So please take your time sorting out your setups and strategies, etc., etc. Uh, those that are in the chat, we've got 20 people watching at the moment. Can you send in your predictions? I know some of the drivers will be watching it at the same time. It should Corey, are we, are we, are we going to be boring and predict who we think is definitely going to win or are we going to be a bit out there this week? Mm. I feel like I need to be a bit out there. What's your thoughts? I'm going to go... Oh, I'm going to go controversially. I'm going to say Lewis isn't going to be on the podium. Ooh. I reckon it's going to be uh, Yeet Mix... Wisey boy, Goran Lewis. I reckon Lewis is going to be fourth. I'm thinking oh, Luke is... could be oh. in the mix. One, oh. two, three, four, five lights. And away we go for the Hungarian Grand Prix. I will hand it over to my esteemed colleague whilst I invite Dougie back to the session. Well, it's a good run down. Lewis has got the line ahead as Yeet Mix just stays very close behind. Wisey boys up on the Ivok is up. You see a swap over. I think Yeet Mix is pushing hard onto Racer there. The Racer's holding it defensively. Needs to just try and pull away now. The back of the field, we are too wide. The Hasses are side by side. Oh. Yellow flags, yellow oh, flags. We have, and uh, it is a slow moving Red Bull. Oh, it's the lanky one on his day. He's got front wing damage. Uh, yeah, and he's down towards the back. Uh, just having a quick look at the tyres. Most of the guys have gone onto the medium tyre. Uh, Andre's gone on the hards, and then we've got X427 Moliers and Dougie all on the soft tyre. Dougie needs to try and get back Ooh, Red into Panda making a move. Session. Did get ahead as well, why is the Mercedes is going round the outside? Can he hold it against the Alfa Romeo? Yeah, Pipe Tech in amongst it. Does get it. Uh, these guys got to be careful because they start tripping up over each other. Uh, they're going to get cut adrift. Eight tenths is the gap. Uh, X427 down the inside of the Alpine and trying to get those soft tyres working early doors. Uh, Just get it. It's as you were at the front. Uh, Wiseboy and Luke have swapped. I've got up one. X427 up two. Blades down one. Goran down uh, two. Uh, big move of Salmon at the start, up five places. So getting that Haas working. Let's see what he can do throughout the race. Well, it's getting very close to the back of the Alpine. Goran's not having the best start, is he? Does he have damage, maybe? Uh, there's no visual damage, but the problem is it's people's tyre pressures. Is, is those tyres overheating already? usually a really tar track around Hungary in terms of tyre pressures. Uh, medium, hard is usually the strategy. But you've got to look after them. Uh, Pipe Tech's got past Moliers, uh, and these guys are two seconds after the first two laps off the back of everybody else. Lewis, meanwhile, has broken the gap out front. Broken the DRS already when he mm. needed it, just as it's been activated. Uh, Salmon's got another move done up to 12th past Andre. Uh, through, that was through the last corner. So, I mean, Corey, other than the. Uh, I don't want to say it as Dougie's making move, Other than the misdemeanours of the first lap of the lanky one, they pretty much behaved themselves. Oh, Dougie going deep and off track. Yeah, he got. Uh, just flicking through, he uh, got himself beached on the curb and it just sat him all the way out. That's what some of the curbs do around here. 
So he's lost a bit of time, but again, in a train, so should be okay. Uh, Moliers looks to be struggling already on the soft tyre. He's dropped behind Pipe Tech last lap, and he's already dropped a second and a half. And Sam was looking to make another place up. It's coming very quick, though. Just, it looks so much more hooked up. Thoughts about it. Out broke himself. We'll keep an eye on his times because I think if he gets into clean air, I reckon he'll be matching the, some of the leader's pace at the moment. DRS oh, enabled. He's very he's close. Just giving him a helping hand, pushing the uh, Mercedes through the final corner. I Dash of overtake. Loop, battling down into turn one. Are they still alive? I think they are. I saw them swap around slightly, but I think Luke's held position. Yes. Yeah, someone on the move then, up to P11. I'm also interested to see, uh, so the Lanky one is currently 41.8 seconds behind the leader. I'm just going to keep an eye on that delta because I think that's just going to come down and down and maybe being in clean air is going to be more beneficial. He's probably going to have to stop again, but I'm looking ahead for a couple of races time because there's two races left after today. I think the McLaren is definitely faster through second sector on Red Panda, on that Goran. He is gaining time. That's such a he bad is. camera angle. Uh, he's got the overtake, but Goran kind of defends the middle of the road. Blades is going to try the up and under. Oh, not quite the traction on the exit. You guys got a good TV, but TV pod view of that. needs to settle in so he's, I reckon maybe next time around maybe uh, Molly is in the um, uh, interestingly then look at that lanky one's only 1. 1.4 seconds behind Molly is Quite a lot of time then. He's uh, matching the leader. 42 seconds is roughly the gap. So, strong pace at the back. Andre's been overtaken by this time Bozo. So, both the Hasses have got past the Mercedes at this stage of the race. That move out front, I saw it was. Why is he boy got past Yeet Mix into turn one? Although yeah, the wise boy is not, not in the DRS, was just sitting duck, I guess, for wise he boy. Easy pickings. Oh, there's and contact to the bike. There's a Alpine off track. That's Ivica. He's off. Oh, don't go backwards, please. Uh, that was with the Ferrari. If he gets himself. Oh, he's on a really awkward part oh, of the track. There we no, go. That, oh, no, he's hitting barriers. <laughs> yeah, That's... but he, he's on a really awkward part of the track because he couldn't really go on. There's another yellow flag somewhere. I have no idea what that was for. It was going later on. Possibly the Ferrari. Possibly. They were quite close together. And... Uh, Africa's got past Dougie, so. It's not ideal, but I would say he's not far off the train, so he can make things still happen. All 427's going defensive. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Garan doesn't. Just doesn't know. Is that Blades trying to fight his way through? 
possibly. Yeah, I, I think. I think you're going to see more moves set up to turn three than you are to turn one. Blades with a lot more grip by the looks of things through four. I think it's turn four. I hope it's turn four. No turn Ooh, three. Slight contact there. A little love tap. Love tap. I can tell you which car's quicker out the three. <laughs> oh, those, I think he's just picked up a woman there. It's the McLaren over the Alpine and the Ferrari. At this point, the uh, Alpine and the Ferrari just holding him back. Oh. Very close. Oh, I think we're going to see a move for P3. I know we're going to watch that battle, but I'm definitely going to possibly see a move for P3 here. Luke is getting closer and closer to Yeet Mix. Uh, Luke goes down the inside. I've seen Gorin in the background go for a move. So on X427, gives him the shoulder. Blades is going to try and do the up and under. Nearly three wide. Oh, it's going to get very tight on the entrance to turn three. Everybody's still pointing in the right direction. Blades with the psychological advantage of the uh, Alpine flashing that red light. He's pushing him through turn four. This is the closest battle. Red Panda's joined this now. And those soft tyres on that Ferrari, I would say, Corey, are toast. Definitely are at this stage of the race. They're eight laps in. Certainly would have dropped off by now. He's just going to drop his pace down. Uh, there you go. Ferrari turns into the pits. Uh, McLaren's on its way. Dougie's still out there, uh, hasn't pitted yet, but I reckon he's... No, he's going to stay out again. And the Ferrari goes to the medium tyre. That wasn't the tyre I was thinking of. No. Okay, that's good to know. So everybody at this stage of the race kind of spread out. We did have a couple of DRS trains, but everybody's just slightly out of DRS. Uh, but Yeet Mix is the man that seems to be under the cosh a little bit. He's got Gorin and Blades now behind him. As Red Panda's been dropped off the back of these two. He was close, but he's not really had a great lap as Red Panda. Yeah, eight tenths slower than his personal best. That's probably not going to help. With how far Salman has made it up the grid, I was expecting him to be up there a bit more. Mm, he's burnt a bit of battery. And he'll finish at the moment. He's dragging Bozo with him. Um, the team Sorokin, Sorokin doing well. He's up into 11th. He's three oh, positions yeah. gained, and not not too far off the back of those guys as well. Dougie's finally come in. Well done, Dougie. I think we might see a move for P2. I think we will. It's been brewing, this one. I said it. I can see Luke though. And depending how it goes, Ink Mix is going to have to really try. And I think he is. Yeah, he's put a bit of battery down through this middle sector. He realises this as well. If he can get DRS off Luke in front, it's going to make his life a little bit easier the next couple of laps. 
He's getting closer. Oh, he hasn't quite got it this time. Bozo gonna do? Is Bozo gonna overtake his teammate? Yes, he will. There you go. Swap happening down at Haas. Big, big lock up. Yeah, well, have a go. See if Bozo can try and close it down. But he does need to get a move on. He's not had a great first couple of corners. Now he's got the move done because now he's holding up his teammate. So let's uh, see if those two can catch Pipe Tech who's currently sitting very lonely Yutnex has brought the one second he has uh, so Lanky came out behind Moliers when he did his pit stop he's now come out ahead of Andre after those pit stops so not ideal for Andre down there in seven, 16th and 17th It does mean the Alpha Tari and the Hasses are in trouble. Salmon's had a dodgy lap here. Uh, really struggling because uh, now Sorokin's over the, all over the back. I find him the pits. Right then, Red Panda, what are you going to do? Hard tyres? I'd say one of the front guys that have just come in to make a stop is going to go to the hard tyre. Uh, so Rockin down the inside of Salmon for turn one. Both a little bit squirrely on the exit. Cool. All over the place. Down to turn three. Ooh, the house is trying to hang it on, but we're losing a little bit of grip on the rear end. Oh, we have lost grip on the rear end. He's run wide. So Rockin is through. Oh no, 427 with a three second time penalty. Oh no, Shurokin's hey, dropped it. That's it, he's out. Oh, out of turn five, Roland Kerb. That's a very niche joke. Sorry. <laughs> oh yes, it's working. So he had. Oh, so he got the move done on the house and then just, just got a bit it. trigger happy. It's easy done. You get the move done and you try and pull. You're just trying to get away as quick as you can. Uh, Wisey Boy is coming into the pits. Cautiously, I would say. As they all come stacking in. Look at them all. Oh, oh, oh God. That hurts. So, Salmon's just committed my cardinal sin. I saw it. I just didn't want to say. I didn't oh, want to disappoint you. God, the pain. <laughs> oh, not under a safety uh, car, man. No, please. Come on. Not driving at full speed. You don't need to be cut a corner. Oh, he's Every got a drive for him. Five. five seconds. It's not that. He's got a drive for him. Oh, I thought it was a pit. <laughs> No. Oh, it's a drive through. It's even worse. It's even worse. <laughs> it is. It's even worse. Oh, no. I was about to say when uh, Danny picked up his penalty, I thought, oh, we've done all right here. 12 laps in. It's the first person to pick up a penalty. And now it's all just falling apart. Um, I'll tell you what, though. Some brave people down at Alfa Romeo and Williams soft tyres for two of the front four. Oh. Brave. Very brave. How big are your gahonies? It's quite a stint. It's not that. They're definitely going to have to stop, so they're going to be a soft medium. They're going to have to push very hard. We have a lot of hard but, runners. But we've seen the softs die after four laps, which is not great. So, yeah, we'll find out in 23 laps time whether we, uh, if that's the right decision or not. Um. Oh, 
I've noticed something very interesting. Interesting. It, there's been a jump in the top six. Blades is the jump. P5. Yeah, he jumped Goran in the pit in the pit lane. He's jumped him in the pits. Oh. It's all working off to his advantage. Uh, He's run a very good race today. He's kept a very good pace, pushing very hard towards the Alpine. He's done okay. He's probably sitting there nervously going, shut up, shut up, Matt. Shut up, don't, shut up, Corey, stop talking about me. <laughs> um, the person I feel a little bit sorry for, but I don't think he's lost out too much ground, is Red Panda. He's currently sitting eight feet pit at the lap before the safety car, so. Um, think he's done okay. Not a massive disaster. So, because everybody else. Whoa, his blades rides the curb on the, uh, the entrance to turn four. That was very weird. I think, um, okay, yeah, we need to stop talking about him now. <laughs> yeah, we need to stop talking about him now because he's doing some freaky stuff now. Breaking me out. Um, everybody else is on the hard tyres apart from two of those top four, uh, which is Wise Boy and Yeet Mix. Uh, Andre's on the mediums down at Mercedes. I think like Red Panda had come in just before that safety car, so it is a bit frustrating. Evening, Mr. P.W. Jones. Evening, Tom, as well. Good to see you all. Thanks for Evening. dropping in. It's the first safety car of the evening. I know, right? It's EU4. You expect carnage. It's fine. Deathstorm as well. I hope you're feeling less stressed. I saw you stressed out a little bit earlier in the stewards chat. It's all right. I'm here. We're here to soothe yourself. You'll be fine. Safety car in this lap. Right, where's Lewis? What's he going to do? Well, he hasn't got much choice. <laughs> no. I think he's away. And he is away. It's he's done okay. He's done. He's done okay there. Uh, Yeet mix and King Luke. So Yeet mix is going to get this done. Use those soft tyres. Luke didn't really fight him too much because he knows he's going to have to stop again. So he's got that done. I've could pass Andre. It's all a bit chaotic further back here. Two or three wide going into turn three. Oh, the Mercedes boys, you're on the same team. We need the points for the Constructors' Championship. Sort it out. Don't kill each other. Not yet. Uh, other than that, once again, I thought... I'm going to put the curse on it now. Fairly well behaved on the restart. That could have been a lot chaotic than what it could have been. Um... We have a train all the way down from fourth all the way down to last. Luke is at the head of it after being overtaken by Yeet Mix. But that was kind of expected. Now Lewis will be under the cosh. Just a touch. Wow. Did you see that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Holy! The top that's why I three scoffed are it. Going. They are. That's why I scoffed a bit. Uh, Lewis pumped in a 19.4. That wasn't good enough because Wise Boy did a 19.284. That also wasn't good enough because Yeet Mix did a 19.2, 19.234 uh, to set the fastest lap time. They are making Lewis sweat for it at the moment. Well, he was nice and relaxed for the first stint of the race. Second stint's now making it very interesting. <laughs> yeah, not so easy. Uh, Blades and Luke going side by side. Oh, bit of contact. Luke still luckily pointing in the right direction. He's okay. He's dropped Just... back another position, though. Yeah, regain composure, man. Get yourself back into it. It's uh... You've lost a place, but you, you could have... You both could have been out of that, so take like that. Uh, Lewis is doing very, very well <laughs> on the hards to stay ahead of those soft runners. God, 19 point flat. Yeah, okay. 
Straight away responding. All right. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's responded, but I reckon the two behind him weren't far off it either. Uh, Kept a good evening. What was the power of quality? Quality time, uh, night, it was a 16.08 16, from, yeah, 16, yeah, 16 flat from Lewis. Uh, Yeet mixed a 16.1, so pole was quite tight. Poisey Poise just improved, by the way, did a personal best middle sector. Uh, first sector, even. It's, uh, just to give, like, a four second gap on the rest of the field. Well, yeah, Blades and Luke was struggling, and Blades had to go overtake him, so Blades is now at the front of the train. Uh, Goran is with him. Luke's just about keeping touch. Uh, still a train all the way down to P uh, P14. Uh, I've done a 15.7, so don't worry, Kepsi. You'll be in the same boat as me. I'm just, I'm just come to the fact, Corey, that my one lap pace in this game this year is uh, a bit stinky. Yeah, I've got hungry is not my best. Um, I don't actually know what my TT time is. I haven't practiced at all. Tomorrow's going to be interesting, <laughs> to say the least. I'm no, relying on my good. race pace and keeping the tyres under control for Wednesday for E2 and then maybe EU on Thursday if I have to. Yeah, I'm going to be reliant on race pace and endurance. Seeing yes. it out to the end. Not crashing or getting a penalty. That'd be great. Yeah. Speaking of. <laughs> yeah, it's like, Dougie. It's like Dougie heard me. Uh, three seconds. I don't know where that was though, because that is, it wasn't the entrance of turn four. So I reckon he's got it on the exit of turn three, which is a bit of a odd one. Lanky drift, just drifting a little bit off the back. One point nine seconds, but he's doing okay. Uh, X four two seven pass uh, Salmon for P ten. That's important for the championship, considering there's an Alpine behind him approaching with much haste. So here we go. Speaking of another Alpine, Goran's past Blades at turn one. That is such a and bad camera angle. It is an awful camera angle. Uh, X427 stays ahead of the Haas. The Alpine of Ivica is coming through. Trying to go around the outside of the house driver. Please don't chop him off. Ooh. I've been done like that before. It's not very nice. And this train is splitting up just a bit. Separate the front three are still all within DRS. Oh, oh so I don't know if he's going to get it this time. Am I a spot too soon? He's he's not got he's it. He's not got it. No, he's not got it. I think they've just started to go. So I think the soft oh, runners. Are, I think the soft runners are finally. They're just gone. They couldn't take advantage of it. Lewis has stood the assault. The barrage that was on him for seven laps, and I think they've now finally gone. Uh, speaking of gone, Salmon and Ivaco, who's off the track. Moliers is through. Caught the end of that one. Yeah, so I reckon these two will jump on the mediums, because if the softs aren't going to make it to the end, but they need to give themselves as much chance as possible to make it through. So this could be... Fascinating watch for the next 15 or so laps, watching these two carve their way through the field. Oh, Yeet Max for the three second. Yeah, turn 11. 
Seen that time and time again through the Stumpchy sling. Long story short, that was after the team of Stumpy and Titchy, Team Stumpchy. Uh, they were teammates and they both decided to crash at turn 11 in the same race. Pretty much one after the other. So Some people call it the Stumpchy sling. Are we going to see a move for P2? Oh, we've seen a move for P4. P4. Blazers fought back and got it. Goran is fighting back. They're both sliding through. Blades is going to hold it around the outside. Oh, Danny Rick, eat your heart out. Oh, uh, Eric, out the last corner? Yeah, it is out the last corner. Good thing we haven't got normal uh, damage on it, so reduced reduce, because that also would have been a rear win there. He reversed into that wall oh, with a bit again, of a thump. But at this rate, he's going to get lapped. Yeah, he's going to have to go around and pit, which is going to be a pain, because uh, Sector 2 is going to feel horrible. Uh, Oh, still the. It's a bit of a weed. Still the. He's deep mix. Oh, he didn't commit to it. No, I reckon he could have held that through. Did not commit to it. Now he's got to go to the outside. We've seen Blades do it the lap before. He mix is going to go long. The oh, tyres are not. He's just yeah, not the tyres are not. They're 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 dead boys. If I'm going to be brutally honest, lads, you're going to have to bite the bullet and come in. Unless you really think about going soft, soft, which I think is very brave, but I think you have to bite the bullet and pit for mediums. Blades are now closing in on you. You're, you're dropping back to... off. Oh, hello. Yellow flag. Who was that? Who was it? I didn't see. It was only a yellow flag. Here he is, so I'm trying to work out who it was because it's in the midfield. No idea. Uh, Eric is in. We have seen Pipe Tech close that gap on Panda. Mm -hmm. They're staying out. Oh, this is killing me on the inside. Brave man. That's in the pits. It should be good. In the pits, yeah. Oh, I thought he hit him. Molly is down the inside. Of move on red panda. Oh, there's a yellow flag because there's Aston Martin. Uh, Luke's round. Oh, Luke's oh, dropped it from a really good no. position. Oh, and he's already down to 12. Those hard tyres are going to be feeling horrible. Just witnessed a nice battle between Red Panda and Pipe Tech as Pipe Tech's trying to get past. Oh, Luke. Luke, Luke, Luke. Luke, you're making me I'm sad. Not... I wanted you up there this race. I, I, I'm not being horrible. That That is... Oh, as the Red Bull goes massively across the chicane there. Sam, yeah, Sam was going to overtake him. thought he would. Um... That epitomises Luke's season, I think. He's got fantastic one that race, and then whether that was a genuine mistake or he had contact with someone, I feel it was a genuine mistake. It's just the race side of it, it's just let him down. Pipe right, take rear wing open. Straight back on the attacker, Red Panda. Using the slipstream, he's going to the inside. Oh, door open again. Yeet Mix tried to dive down the inside. Oh, oh now they're in. Fighting back. Come on, show us. Is he ahead? Red Panda's ahead slightly. Pipe Tech's 
behind Panda. Oh no, Bozo's wow, gonna come through Bozo's as well. Gonna, yeah. This is brave. Oh, does that? No, oh, he did a key down the track. I thought Modiers was gonna overtake him around the outside of turn four. That would have been amazing. As soon as we've got ourselves a four-way battle. Uh, we've got ourselves a three-way battle, and it could be four in a minute. The soft runners are under pressure. Blades pushing that Alfa Romeo through, who lost a place to Yeet Mix this lap as well. So that must have been through the middle sector because Yeet Mix was ahead of Wisey Boy. And we have a four way battle for second place. Blades pushing Wisey Boy through the last corner. DRS is open. Blades has got the battery over the Alfa Romeo. Right, that is one done. Oh, and a bit of a squeeze on the on on the entrance for good measure. Oh, Pipe Tech got past Red Panda. Oh, they've made contact and they're both out. No, oh, Red Panda's somehow still in. It's a safety car. We've got a safety car. Did the Astons collide? No, it was. No, Pipe Tech. no, it wasn't. It's Pipe Tech. It was Red Panda on Pipe Tech and. I don't know. He didn't look great for the Aston Martin, if I'm being honest, but I can't tell. Because that camera angle looking that looks up to towards turn one is awful. <laughs> Red Panda's no front wing, you will have to box. Oh, that. I was about to comment and say how good it's actually been for EU4. It's been a lot better the last couple of weeks than what it started out of. It's been so much better. Uh, oh! Safety ooh! Car. No, no, no. Not that. Ooh. What have I missed? Uh, oh, someone be brave. Oh. Well one in the pits. They're all going in the pit. I thought someone would chance it. I thought someone would have a go. I honestly thought that. They're all coming in. What was that? Oh, this is also interesting, though. Soft tyres are on. Uh, no, they're not. Medium, mediums. Oh, mediums, yeah. Lewis is on the softs. So is that brave for Lewis? Well, let's put it this way. So we've got 10 laps left, including this one. Uh, the soft tyres were dying after six laps. Ooh. You make that as you will. It's going to be close, I think. If the soft guys get through, I don't think they may. I'll be amazed if some of them hold on to the positions they gain at the end. I think it's going to be really close. I'm going to curse him now because I haven't mentioned him race and we don't really get to mention him that often throughout the season. The individual that is currently sitting in P6. Well done. How well has he done today, by the way? Very well. He's up there. In the points, kept it clean. No penalties, no accidents. And had a good few battles. Uh, qualified quite well as well inside the top well p11 out of 18 is pretty pretty decent yeah did have a good qualifier he's he's done quite well it's a shame to see shirokin out i would have liked to see him go all the way to the end he started to make places up towards the uh Second stint in the race. So everybody thought, oh, the safety car is going to be in this lap. That safety car will be in this lap. Everybody is still on the lead lap, so congratulations.
I felt sorry for Pod Tech there. That was, uh, I don't know. I've seen, seen it. I didn't see what happened. I didn't see that. Did you see what happened? Uh, I saw them on the exit, but the camera angle was so bad, I couldn't tell if Pipe Tech went into him or Red Pan. There was contact between the Red Panda's uh, front right and Pipe Tech's rear left. Um, yeah, that was... Uh, I think I think there was space, but again, I can't tell without seeing on boards. Really difficult because the camera angle from turn one to turn two is awful. <laughs> I'm trying to catch it when something interesting happens. I'll try and get an on board, but the camera angles are bad on this track. It's not just turn one. A lot of them are bad. I do like the helicopter view though. Yes, I've got ones over there. Uh, Lewis this time has got a bit more space to play with, I think, rather than his one that he did before. Um, he's away. And yeah, he's already away, and he's opened up an eighth. Uh, eight tenths of a second gap to Yeet Mix, who is only just shot. in front of Blaze, yeah. Blaze is coming. Salmon pass. Oh, oh, oh he's part. But he's picked up a penalty. That's his, and the problem is, that's his second one as well. And I guarantee you, because he's off track, he's had to give that yield that one, but I think which he's just done. Uh, uh, so people with penalties at the moment you can see oh speaking of there's another one uh, Yeet Mixer 3 uh, X4273 Ivka 3 Salmon 6 uh, Dougie also got 3 um, yeah not ideal for some interesting though interestingly though that is 2 of the four drivers involved in the Constructors' Championship with uh, penalties. Lewis says, um, He's pieced the scene. I can't. That's the PG version of it. I can't use the other version of it. But he's uh, he's fought, trot Oscar off away. Yeah, he's gone. Yeah, he has gone. He has left uh, the building. Pieced the scene. Mm -hmm. Ivica ran the outside of Modiers through turn three. Modiers sticks it out though. Hard work of that. Sam went up to 11th. Luke. Oh, the it's lanky some... one's got a penalty. That's that's where I expect people to get it. Exit turn four. Soft runners not really made the inroad. I thought oh, they would have had. Seven going wide. So that ball eyes through. And Ivaco, is he fighting it side by side? He's just pulling ahead. No, yes, 427's Danny will back. Oh, oh will not the in. first time. Not the first time these two have come together so far. Luke wants a piece of this as well. Uh, we could be three wide here going into turn one. It could get a bit messy. Oh, they've touched again! He's looked side by side with Ivica. Fighting him down, he's backed out of that one. But the Ferrari and the LP cannot get along this evening. That's twice. Three times, I think, now. Mm. Oh, he's oh, picked up another no. penalty, and that is definitely... Definite psychological advantage now. I've got to run up. Oh, oh contact no, between contact the two and they're out. out. Oh, no. Oh, I 
Ivic has stayed in somehow. Oh. The rear car gets away with it again. The red Panda was the same with Pipe Tech. I don't want to say it, but you can see that happen a mile away. <laughs> that is not good in terms yeah. of constructors. Well, it's, it's not good for either. Uh, Alpine would have definitely got a bit more damage limitation there because of the penalties, but that's, uh, that's an Alpine with no front wing. And three seconds of penalties, and then pending. I guarantee that'll be sent upstairs to the to the stewards as well. That one. Yeah, that's. Uh... Oh, and he's nearly hit the back of Dougie's nearly hit the back of the Alpine. It was a controversial one. If I where's the where's the Jose Mourinho gif? I need it. If I speak, oh, I'm in big trouble. Understand why they're fighting so hard, though, when they are the both contenders for the constructors. Hey, Luke, Luke will be happy though. He's just got two free positions without having to do much work. He's roughly nearly back to where he was when he had his spin, so it's not been too bad. For Luke. So that is the fourth retirement. Unfortunately, we lost Sorokin on his debut already, uh, lighting up the rears out through turn five after he made an overtake. It was looking all right. Uh, Eric retired in the pits after a couple of front wing damages. It was nearly a lap down. Uh, Pipe Tech got involved with Red Panda, so that'll be under review, probably. And X427 will be just seeing Ivica coming to blows. Now, if they get a shift on, safety car will come in next lap and we can have three laps of racing, one with the DRS. Should make an interesting lap slot. Uh, will it? No, it won't. It won't work like that because the DRS won't be enabled to lap 35 and the detection points in sector three. So we won't get DRS. Um. Boo! Big boo. tell you who this doesn't do any favours for in particular and that's Yeetnik second in second place because I think he would have stayed at least in the top four the safety car hadn't come out now he's going to need to do a lot of work to uh, keep P2 I think yeah especially with the time penalty well, that, and also he's not going to have the tyre performance, really, if I'm being honest. I think those mediums would be better at this point. Oh, definitely. Done the soft tyre. It's been an intriguing race. Intriguing. I think that's the word I look for. Red, Red Panda. Panda's retired. Uh, under SC? He's crashed. I think he's hit the back of somebody under the safety car. I don't know. I will find out. Lewis will lead us away for the third time. He slows right down. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna go and find out. He says I am stupid in the Twitch chat. I think he's crashed it. Oh, he's done a George. Anyway, Lewis leads away. Again, he makes gets a bit place. of a drop. It's enough of a drop. Oh, he makes off track. Oh, Molly is off. Back. Oh, oh, Bozo, no, Bozo's lost two places. Oh, he had it covered and then lost it. 
Oh, he was in sixth place. That would have been easily his best result. Luke's up to sixth. He took both of them, Moliers and Bozo. So Luke's got himself involved. Maybe be on the soft tyres at the end is more to Luke's style. Lewis is pulling away. He is. I think Yeet Mix is struggling. He's certainly got the McLaren all over the back of him. Okay. I don't want to put too much pressure on him. If he gets the move done into turn one, he's got to get it done less lap. And then we've got an outside chance of putting some pressure on Lewis. But I have a feeling that Williams will be Dumping the battery as well. Here we go then. Bades on Yeet Mix. He's going to defend the inside to make this as difficult as possible. Oh, very good car nice. placement. Yeah, snap. Not got it Ooh, done. Williams is going sideways. Williams did not look comfortable once those soft tyres have been slightly warm. We saw it in the stint earlier. Oh, Lanky. Oh, contact with Dougie. Side by side. The E-Mix is off somewhere. The e mix is down. He was off. He's lost, lost a couple of places. Bades is up into sec. Someone's off as well. Who's that? Goran. Goran's hit the ball. Alpi, it's, it's all unravelling. Goran out. Luke up into fourth. Yeet Mex down again to fifth. What has happened? The last lap or so, it's the last couple of sectors, it's all gone off. Dougie's just lost out at turn five to somebody else. Couldn't really see that. They kept, went wheel banging. Blades has got ahead of Yeet Mix. We've got one lap to go. It's going to be probably between Blades and Wisey Boy. Then for P2. Ivor is ahead of the lanky one who's currently occupying 10th place, but the Red Bull's not going to give up. He's going to go to the inside. Ooh. Oh, there's contact. Yeah, block pass from the lanky one. He's tried it. Been tired to put his car there. Ivor turned in and made contact. Bozo's down in 11th. I can't believe it. It's all gone so wrong. He was in P6. Uh, who else is possibly... Luke is flying, by the way. Six six or seven attempts now behind Wisey Boy. It's just a little bit too late. He's come to life for the last couple of laps. Uh, It's going to be really difficult for anybody else to make a move. Uh, but Lewis is coming round the penultimate corner. Well, he declared as champion last week with a drive. He's held off every single attack this week. They've tried, they've tried, they've tried, but they couldn't quite do it. Lewis is going to take another win in EU4. It's going to be Blades in second and Wisey Boy in third. That's been a top three we've seen before. Uh, Yeet Mix drops down to oh, sixth. Uh, who else is struggling? Salmon's Goran's finished no outside the points. Yeah, Goran's got, got a front wing. Uh, Andre sit could have nicked Yeet Mix on penalties. Bozo did get some points in the end, got up to eighth. Uh, I've got ninth. Banky won in tenth point on debut. And Salmon just missing out. I'll tell you what, if he didn't have a weird glitch thing in qualifying probably would have been slightly better off rather interesting one today it was I think it actually wasn't a bad race in the end the usual thing of safety cars create safety cars but I think that happens no matter what but yeah pretty good race every time we thought we were going to get a low point in it it sparked into life I will need to go away and do some number crunching
I think it's still possible in the last two rounds. But Ferrari, I would say, have got one and a half hands on the Constructors' uh, Championship. Uh, so is the finishing Lewis. Grid. Yeah, that is the finishing grid. Uh, Lewis wins again on an absolute phenomenal uh, achievement. Uh, Faster step as well, just to stamp a bit of authority. Blades P2 uh, keeps up a good record of appearances and podiums, which is pretty good. Uh, Wiseboy again on the podium since his return, uh, showing some signs that we've seen of him in the past. King Luke was a very roller coaster kind of race. Qualified third, went down, got back up, spun round, got back up to fourth again. Uh, Modiez in fifth, he missed sixth, but Andre seventh. Good points all for the Mercedes. I'm not being biased whatsoever. Um, Bozo in eighth. Was God disappointing because he was in sixth for quite a long time towards the end. I've grown ninth. Uh, ninth. Lanky won on debut tenth. Salmon just misses out on a point in eleventh. Goran. 12th after what happened on the last couple of laps. Dougie. Red Panda went back to the line. finishes. All with a D and F. So, are we on with the interview? <sighs> yeah, let's take a deep breath. Who did we have in P3 again? It was uh, Racer, Blade, and Wise Boy. So you'll wait the response. Blade says yes. Of course. Of course. Of course he does. He's had a good race. He's on the podium. Just got his invite out. Gonna do the number crunching here because I think with Blaze's podium, that's possibly put him fourth in the championship. Anybody else gonna reply to the interviews or not? It'd be nice to not. We have a man sitting and waiting. Oh, we could start with him. Why not? They can just they can just join where they are. We're he's sitting there waiting patiently. Bless him. Uh, I do hope they come. I I quite enjoy our chats these days. <laughs> <laughs> a nice little natter. It's the same podium it was a few weeks ago, I believe. In Brazil, yeah. In Brazil, yes. Yeah. I don't. It's the other way round, I believe. I believe you. No, no. I think Washington. this is the right way round. Is the still the right around? Fantastic. You, you went me, Wisey Boy, Lewis, but uh, you went me because I was in here first. Nice. So, I might be wrong. Yeah, what? Was it, why, were you third on that occasion? So uh, were you, were I you don't know. I think you were. Well, you're here. We'll have, I'll, 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 I we'll have a chat. Um, that is your third podium in 10 races. And... I don't think you know this, but you now put yourself fourth in the championship as well. No idea. I'd just try and beat Danny. Oh well, yeah, I was going to ask you how your personal battle was going with Mr. Gite, considering you were level on points. Technically, they're not the right standings, but you were level on points apparently. And uh, yeah, a big can't see, a big can't eighteen. See down there. Can't see him down there. 
in no, all fairness, so I don't good. think it's he's from... retired. I don't think he's retired <laughs> was his fault this week, to be fair to him. But uh, yeah, look, um, you got two races to go. You got a week break next week. You got Qatar and Spa to go. I believe one track you're particularly usually quite good at, aren't you? In Belgium. <sighs> Okay. Yeah, I'm very good at Qatar every season. Uh, no, yeah, <laughs> Belgium should be good. Uh, quite, quite likes, but to be fair, so should be a good one. Um, yeah. Anything else you want to add about your race? Or? I was just begging Wisey Boy to not overtake me. Most of it. Uh, <laughs> right, th that last couple of laps, I was just like. Just leave me alone. Get out my ring piece. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, Yeet, Max, Yeet Max went off and allegedly murdered Goran. I'm not quite sure what happened there, but there's been some words exchanged. So, And from there, I sort of just dumped the battery and ran away. <laughs> Scarpered as quickly as possible, to be fair, mate, which is not very quite quick, quick quite unfortunately. Yeah. But the safety car, I was a bit miffed the the last safety car. But well, yeah, the last two safety cars, I was a bit miffed because I was sort of finding a groove and getting up to the back of them two, and then safety car comes and undoes my my hard work, but. There you well, go. I think it's the worked it out. In, I think it's worked out in the uh, in the right way anyway, because those two would have had to pit regardless from the softs. So yeah, well. I think you would have got P two regardless. I mean, I think you had other people covered off because we saw your pace on the mediums once you got released. Yeah, and, uh, uh, they're not here, but, but. I, that, it was still with Wisey boy though. You know, he might not have got one, but happy to share another podium and uh, with those two. Another full British podium. That's what we'd like to say. So, yeah. yeah mate, I, I presume. They're not coming, it's just me. Yeah, I'm <laughs> looking at the chat. Ah, you know what? Yes, yeah, Sodom. Sodom. They're, they're, they're going to have their own interview. I think you should disqualify Lewis for that and. Uh... I mean, we've had we've had, we've had to listen enough of Lewis this season, anyway, haven't we? So, exactly. Well, uh, that's a good, good point. Why are we gonna Michael Massey this now? Yeah, just, we are. We're gonna do our just own. Just give me the win. Everyone would prefer to see me have the win. Really, now he's already won the championship. Everyone would prefer to see me have the win. Stewards, I see you. <laughs> Make it happen. I see. You. <laughs> Pay your hands. I enough. reckon we start rep. I reckon we start wrapping up. Yeah, so we we we'll say up. our congratulations to Mr. Blades. Yeah, well done, good. sir. Good P2 finish. Nice points. Thank you and very much, gentlemen. We'll see you in a couple of weeks because you've got you've now got a week off, which you'll be glad to hear. Yeah, much needed after my week off last week. Yep. <laughs> Your hard work that you've been doing for like the last six races or whatever, but you know, uh, it's what it is. Um, yeah, so Thanksgiving, I believe, next week. So that's why apparently there's, we are not racing. But anyway, it's a break week. It's a break week. Uh, these guys will come back then in two weeks' time, which will be the 27th of November at Qatar, which will be the first time we are racing there, which should be um, interesting. I'll leave it at that because I have no idea. Yeah, interesting to say the least. Um, AM3 are with us later on uh, 9 p.m eastern 2 a.m uh, uk 3 a.m for our central european colleagues uh, and then he you threes tomorrow I'm sure corey's absolutely buzzing to uh Ec ecstatic mate absolutely excited can't wait to get <laughs> diving into this one oh yeah but it's gonna be uh Another Bad. interesting race there. EU2 on Wednesday, so you can come and laugh at me if you want to see me run around at the back of the grid for that. Uh, and then EU1 on Thursday. So that should be that's your European side of things. Yeah. Thanks for everybody that's watched, commented, followed, raided. Yeah, thanks everyone. I think that's about it.
Yeah, Brilliant. Right. We'll see.